Hey, so on 9.30, I, um, that would be this morning, I guess, um, I got awakened at 1 a.m. and then again at 4 a.m. So I was given two separate messages. I'm just going to put them out both right now. It's, they're both regarding the anointed. So um, the first one, I am doing a new thing. And then I saw um, myself with my arm bent kind of like this. And then I went like that. It was as if I had a shield on, but I had no shield. All I had was my arm. And as soon as I swiped my arm and my shoulder was toward like the sky, the sky was pitch black. All of a sudden in that kind of fan shape, it was like it wiped away all the darkness and there was lighter blue, but it was night sky and I could see stars. And um, then I was picked up. I felt like I was picked up like a child picks up a toy and puts them in a new place when they're playing. Then I felt like I was picked up and I was moved to another state or another country. And I did it again. I started fighting darkness again. So after that um, vision ends, then I hear this. I am doing a new thing. I will use my own how I see fit. I will move you from place to place as I see fit. The enemy have no idea. Not really. I am doing a new thing. The anointed will be used in ways humanity has not seen. The anointed will have unbelievable abilities. The anointed will stomp on darkness. I am the Lord, your God, I am. In Acts, people were moved from place to place, but this will be different. This will be more extreme. This will be for the purpose of fighting the darkness and for saving people who have no other way to be saved. The anointed will not be defeated. The anointed will not be touched. The anointed will have my eyes, the holy power of me, the ability not to be seen. Humanity will not believe. The anointed will be incognito. No one will guess the stealth and powerful nature. My secret weapons. The anointed will be prepared at Geboa. This is my mountain in heaven. I have given many of my own dreams that seem unreal, but they shall come to pass. I will use my own to belittle and deconstruct the enemy. The enemy will be terrified at the power available to my anointed. My anointed have been mocked for their dreams. Dreams of walking through walls unnoticed. Dreams of demons not seeing them or smelling them. Dreams of being different places and having no um, and having no language barriers. Dreams of special weapons fitted to them and unique that have supernatural power dreams of flying dreams of changing forms dreams of defending people against the darkness the darkness of men and the darkness of demons these will come to pass the mocked will be justified i will show their power to those that mocked i will bring others to awe the anointed will be free from worries they will be able to miraculously provide food and other provisions for others. The limitations known today on earth will be defied. The anointed will not be stopped because they do my work, my work to save the half-born, my work to find the hiders and bring them to me. No government will stop them. No demon will stop them because they will have my power, my anointed power that has never been seen on this earth. I will use the broken and the quiet, the humble and the faithful, those who have already given up their life for me and proven that they are worthy. I will use the sealed, I am. The enemy knows of the power from people. They have seen Moses, Elijah, Elisha. They recall the powers of Paul, but I am doing a new thing. This will be different. This will allow salvation for those where the waters of my word have completely dried up. The places of darkness that darkness has taken over. They will find my chosen and they will bring them to safety. Those that have had dreams and it feels like you are alone, but you are not alone. Sometimes you will have a team with you. Sometimes you will have angels. Sometimes you will have my hand, but you will never be alone. Those who have dreamed and did not believe, who were mocked and came to put aside the dream, encouraged to believe it was just a strange dream, I will still use them. Those that mocked will see. I will teach you at Geboa. I will anoint you at Geboa. Nothing will stop you. This will not be like the evil movies you have seen. 
that the evil ones have an idea of how the war will be. This will be different. Nothing they would imagine. The people I choose will be used because of their humility, because of their faith, because they have been in quiet submission to me and can be trusted. Some will wish they had been faithful to have had this opportunity to be used like this. But this is a special gift for those that were faithful without having any bait, without the bait of being used in a special way, without the bait of being invincible to the enemy. They followed me without any hopes. They followed me in submission and obedience because they loved me and believed my words. By obeying the very words of the Bible and living like my son instructed, they proved that they love me and they are worthy. And then, you know me, so I break into song. Um, oh Lord, my God, I'm in awesome wonder. I consider all of the works thy hands have made. So then he says, I am doing a new thing. I am. Your faith as an observer has little to do with what will happen. I am. I will do as I see fit. If you cannot believe this, you do not know me. I am. I am the creator of the universe. I can do beyond anything you ask or imagine. As we enter into the last days, the fight will be fierce. Those who are not anointed will need to lean into me. The hour grows dark. The fight will be real. The darkness to come will be horrifying to the average person. The full evil and the nature of evil will manifest because of the words spoken by the kings and their chosen one. They have invited this darkness. They will unleash times never seen before. My own will be invincible, protected, and not ashamed. My own will be the help in time of need. My own will have wisdom and knowledge that no one has. They will be able to communicate with others who are anointed for immediately immediate help. They will be sent on missions to help humanity by me, armed with my power, but they will not be noticed. They will seem like an average person at times, much like how they seem small now, but their prayers are seen as that of lions. The lions roar. They will have this nature about them. No one will expect the power I will give them, the protections I will afford, the safety and the abilities will bring awe. This is the just reward for surviving this time in history where evil was elevated, when Christianity was belittled and turned to bits by weak leadership. Those that read my word, they had discernment to see. They learned truth from me. They did not expect others to provide their learning. They found truth and chased it. Those who overcame this deceptive time in history, they overcame the plots of the evil one against these. These are mine. They have escaped the clutches of the enemy and they held to the truth. They lived the Bible. They brought my son's death and resurrection to full power by responding to truth and not wavering. I saw from on high. These trusted ones who believed and acted in me without reward in sight, these are the anointed. I love all of my own, but these, my special ones, because they loved me fully without regard to what they would gain, they submitted obediently. These are my Benjaminites, my leaders, my chosen. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. My anointed are my faithful, who have attained the well done, good and faithful servant. They hear my voice. They are sealed. Nothing can touch them. I have already sent special angels to protect them. I have already opened their ears to what is true about what is to come. They have been chosen for their faith and humility. Some who here are confused. The anointing is not a rapture. Rapture is for all of my own. The faithful and the half-born that will become born again, that rapture will change the world in mighty ways. But the anointing is a new thing, a separate event. I have drawn together my own. They find each other and it seems unlikely, but they have been pushed together by me. I know who will encourage, who will challenge, who will work together. Who has information I have given? I bring you together. You know who you are because you have already been in awe of how this has happened. One dream fills another. One thing I speak completes another. It is beyond believable to you. But this is child's play to me compared to what is coming. I will do a new thing and it will be astounding. Pray for one another. The prayer of a righteous man avails much. Um, know that I have you in my hand. Nothing can harm you. You are mine. You are protected. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. 
And then I go into like a um, prayer session. So I was like, God, thank you for your love and mercy. Thank you for the word that brings truth in a world that has gone mad. Thank you for your son and unspeakable death for a perfect man. But gratefully in your power, he rose from the dead to conquer death and sin. Then I saw the Holy Spirit um, holding back darkness and protecting my soul. And then I continue praying, Lord, help us to always forgive those around us, even the most difficult. Please help us to have your grace and mercy toward others. Help us to be a spark of joy in others' lives so that they can see you and not us. Use me as you see fit. Please spare my loved ones that have not yet fully come to submit to you. Please open their eyes and their ears. So then at 2 a.m. is the second um, thing. Now this one is more personal, but again, you know, my life isn't private, so. <laughs> So this has to be shared too because other people are in my shoes, okay? And so, um, Gaboa, my mountain, the place of my anointing, Gaboa, my mountain on high, Gaboa. My angels will come for you, stop you in your tracks, go with them, trust them. They are sent by me. The enemy cannot create anything like them. You will know they are from me, do not fear. They bring you home to me, they bring you to Gaboa. These are my servants, they will keep you safe. The anointing is in October, your October. You will rest, you will be healed, you will be anointed, Gaboa. Then I saw a white light in the cor top corner of my vision, which I always know is like, this is from God. And then I heard Jeffrey Donner, which I was like, <laughs> that that's weird. So I knew I had to look that up and I did look that up and it's actually kind of cool. So it wasn't really Jeffrey Donner, like, you know, the murderer, but it was more like Jeffrey and then Dawn and then her, okay? So Jeffrey is God's peace. Dawn, I was led to Psalm 46, 5. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just as the break of dawn. And um, the break of dawn in Hebrew is panna, which means right, right early, morning, bright joy at the end of night, the breaking forth of light. Psalm 46, where that came from, the entire thing is about God being a refuge for his people and conquering the nations. So um, that's pretty cool. And then her is in Hebrew zat, which is this one, her, her, herewith. It means by the means of this. So by the means of what? Jeffrey. So Jeffrey was God's peace. By the means of God's peace, um, he will break the night and bring joy and light, you know, for those that are going to Gaboa. Okay. So then I break into song, um, in Christ, I can do all things in Christ. I can mount up with Eagle's wings in Christ. Um, then I hear this, you will go together the anointing. Others will not go for this anointing. The faithful that are not worthy of the anointing will not go. This anointing is reserved for my chosen leaders. The people will not understand unless I have spoken to them. Gaboa, in me, mine, my beloved Benjaminites, because you are faithful, they will see you. All will see you. My well done and faithful servants, my faithful ones, you will be in Gaboa. When you return, all will see those that mock your husband at work. They will be dumbfounded and in awe at him. They will know he is true. The people who will see your fourth, um, she will have might, and your third will have health. My faithful. At that time, your whole family will go. You will lead. Your husband will fight. Your fourth will see. Your third will help people. You will lead. Your husband will accept this leadership. At Kaboa, you will feast. Your fourth will feast. We have bad food allergies. Um, your third will no longer fall. Her lungs will be healed in her eyes. Your husband's heart will be healed and no more metal will be attached. A pacemaker will be gone. <laughs> um, your husband will believe this. When the angels stop him in his tracks, he will ask you what is next. You will lead. He will know you have the truth. He will follow your lead. He will believe. He will see how I use you. You will all come to my mountain, Gaboa. You will be with me in time. When all will believe and see, your other family will see when you return. They will be in awe. 
You will do missions with your family. You will do missions with others. The people I choose, I will call you together. You will always lead. You have the insight of Deborah. You will lead. You will hear directly from me. You will be changed. You will not need a pen. You will recall everything that is said and you will go forth. I have been preparing you for the I have been preparing you for this your whole life. You will lead. You will stand strong and nothing will harm you. Teams will listen to you. Teams will report to you. You will lead. Those that are mine but not anointed, they have a different understanding of the end. This is because they will not be anointed. They do not need to know this at this time. Their dreams reflect things to prepare them for what they need to see and do. To prepare them to be at the level of understanding that they are for the level of faith that they have. I will draw who needs to hear this. I will suppress this being shared. Make a written form of this and put it on the website. The ones to know will be drawn to it. Do not bother trying to tell your family and friends. They do not have eyes to see yet. Allow it to occur naturally. They will see when they need. They will see in due time. I have them in my hand. Hold on, time is short, hold on. You will soon be with me. A time of rest, Gaboa. So if you're one of the anointed, you know that, and you're like, score. <laughs> pretty cool for living a very humble life and always being the one who's like, eh, why are you doing that? It's pretty nice. So, um, I hope this blessed you, blessed me. Um, if you're not anointed, roll with it. You can't change it now. It's too, we're too close to the end. So do your best and let the Lord use you in the way he's going to use you. And don't complain about it and don't wish you were somebody else because that's one of the keys of how the people that are anointed got to be anointed. We don't ever covet other people's worlds. We're like, well, this is the hand we were dealt with. I guess we're going to roll with that. And then we go, God, you're going to have to do this because, you know, a little too difficult for me. That's how we got here. So that's what you need to do so you can become in leadership um, in the last round when a lot more people get to go and come back and help. So um, hope this has encouraged you, though, because I know a lot of people that follow me are anointed and... Um, I uh, think it's pretty cool. Have a great day.